another guy we think Michigan, I'm not even going to say potentially, we feel pretty comfortable at Michigan's lead is Gatlin Bear. Yeah. Um, I'm including him in this group because, again, I, I do think this is a potential five-star player. He has rocketed up rankings. The guy is an incredible athlete. We've talked about his speed and Olympic track running ability. Uh, he had a home run visit. We say that a lot, but it, it's hard to imagine a visit going better than the one he had recently. Oregon, TCU, Nebraska in there. It feels like you said it's probably still going to come down to Boise, hometown Idaho versus Michigan for him. This is a guy that's going to be in the 2026 class, but now that we're past June and some of the chaos there, how are we feeling about Gatlin Bear again? I know you've, you've got a future cast in on him, don't you? Or did you not do that? Yet? I do. You do yep. have one in on him. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, I play, I put, uh, put one in there pretty much like right after his visit was wrapped up. Um, yeah, I think, uh, Michigan has a great shot, you know, just looking at, the competition that he that Michigan has for him, I mean, yeah, you should be winning these uh, recruitments, you know, against Boise State. I mean, that's stuff that you know you should do any day of the week. However, this one's a little different because you know Gatlin Bears' recruitment is different. You know, we're talking about the the two year mission trip that he's going to take. He won't be at the program until like twenty twenty six. So you know, it's it's a little different and you know the the staying out west has been consistently um lingering around him you know for for quite some time and you know michigan is is definitely giving him something to think about uh you know i i firmly believe that that michigan is completely sold mom and dad for sure um i think they'd be more than fine with letting him go to, to Michigan. Um, really, they're the only really East coast, not necessarily East coast, but Eastern side of the country that, that, you know, is really in for him. So the rest are all Western schools. So I, I think Michigan is, is number one. Um, you know, we'll see, he's got a visit to Boise at the end of this month. That will kind of determine, you know, we'll see what the outlook looks like after that. But, um, at this time, you know, if you were to announce today, it would be Michigan for sure. I think they did a really good job. Um, you know, the the uh, strength and conditioning side of things, the nutrition standpoint was huge. He's going to continue running when he does his two year mission trip. Um, you know, you're talking you're talking about an Olympic athlete. He's got he's got Olympic level speed that really Michigan's never had before. So this could be a potential game changer on offense for them for sure. Um, but yeah, another guy that Michigan is in a, in a great position with great, great position with, and you know, they, they could not relinquish their, their, I, I would call it a lead. I would, they would not relinquish their lead throughout the remainder of the month. So we'll see what, you know, what a, what an announcement looks like, what a commitment's going to look like, you know, with the whole mission trip kind of complicates matters a little bit, but, um, I think, yeah, I, I do think, um, Michigan leads for bear and they're going to be in a great spot for the remainder of the, you know, the remainder of this run. And I think they can get over that distance factor. You know, I, I, I don't buy that distance thing as much as I used to now that I realize like, Hey, these guys have a legit shot here. Like this is, this is legitimate for sure. I think we talked about this in the last show too. You brought it up. There, there's a trifecta. You brought up Ben Herbert uh, cause of Gatlin's passion for sports medicine is huge. Um, Andrew Gentry is on this team. He's someone who took a two year mission trip and he can speak to, what Michigan has done to get him back in the fold. And then Colston Loveland is from Idaho, yeah. right? So he was obviously taking pictures with bear on his visit. Um, he probably won't be here when bear gets here at 26, but, yeah, yeah. That, but that's not the point. It's, it's a guy that came here from Idaho with, with no one here and he's able to kind of sell him on that, right. That portion of it. So yeah, you, you like everything Michigan's done. You feel good about him there and man, yeah, it would be, exciting to see Michigan's had that kind of speed on defense a few times, but yeah, it's hard to remember a receiver with, with that. I mean, DJ Turner at receiver basically. Right. But possibly faster. I mean, what bears doing is insane yeah. from a track perspective. So 